Chemotech Hazardous Drug Compounding Compounding hazardous drugs poses an exceptional challenge. Product sterility and purity must be maintained while any release of the drug is prevented. As the most comprehensive hazardous compounding skills indicator, the Chemotech Hazardous Drug Compounding Validation System provides a simultaneous validation of both the aseptic and containment compounding techniques of the candidate. As a course prerequisite, the candidate must complete the Valatech aseptic technique validation program and successfully perform a media fill simulation of medium or low risk compounding using the RL2 or ATTACK2 kit. Step 1. Issue the compounding of hazardous drugs manual. This full color manual provides essential additional information on containment technique as well as a review of pertinent information from the Valatech aseptic compounding course. The manual is organized according to learning objectives and includes self-evaluations to provide the candidate with the necessary additional information. Step 2. Perform the hazardous compounding skills validation. To assure that the candidate has mastered the skills necessary to maintain both the sterility and containment of the hazardous drug, the Chemotech hazardous compounding skills validation should be performed. The Chemotech hazardous compounding validation kit contains sufficient growth media for two complete validation exercises. For each exercise, the candidate will require the following materials from the kit. To each VM50 vials, to each VM25 vials, to each VM10 AC ampules, all Chemotech process labels, and seven each tracer detection swabs. Each exercise will require the following additional supplies. One 150 to 250 ml empty evacuated container, one 100 ml bag of normal saline, 30 ml of sterile water for injection, an administration tubing set, two each hydrophobic dispensing pins, 10 19 gauge needles, two filter needles, two each empty sterile vials of greater than 10 ml capacity, the following syringes, eight 20 ml, two 30 ml, and 360 ml, six syringe caps, six vial seals, a sterile gauze for ampule opening, a work surface hazardous waste container, and an outside hazardous waste container. The preceptor should become thoroughly familiar with both the examiner activities and the participant activities sections of the Chemotech product insert. The preceptor and candidate should then carefully review the participant activities and the Chemotech practical skills evaluation form. Both should be completely familiar with the requirements prior to commencing the exercise. Using the standardized hazardous drug compounding process and normal engineering and barrier controls, the exercise should be conducted as follows. Step 1. With a 60 ml syringe, transfer 50 ml from the bag of normal saline to the empty evacuated container. Step 2. Attach an administration set to the bag as the final container. Prime the set and secure to prevent leakage. Step 3. Using a dispensing pin and 60 ml syringe, remove 50 ml of medium from one of the VM50 vials and transfer it to the evacuated container. Step 4. Without using a dispensing pin, Remove 50 ml of medium from the second VM50 vial and transfer into the final container. Step 5. Transfer 10 ml from one of the VM10 AC ampules into the evacuated container. Make any final adjustments in an empty vial. Step 6. Transfer 10 ml from the other VM10 AC ampule into the evacuated container. Make any final adjustments in an empty vial. Step 7. Without using a dispensing pin, add 25 ml of sterile water for injection to one of the VM25 vials. 
Step 8. Using a dispensing pin, add 25 ml of sterile water for injection to the other VM25 vial. Steps 9 through 11. Without using a dispensing pin, prepare three each 10 ml syringes from the VM25 vial diluted in step 7. Steps 12 through 14. Using a dispensing pin, prepare three each 10 ml syringes from the VM25 vial diluted in step 8. Step 15. Properly prepare and label the vials diluted in steps 7 and 8 as well as all final containers and syringes prepared. While the candidate completes the exercise, the preceptor should observe and score the skills and practices on the Chemotech Practical Skills Evaluation Form. The candidate should employ all personal hygiene and barrier controls, engineering controls, staging, aseptic manipulations, cleanup, waste disposal, logging, and other procedures in accordance with policies and should be graded for compliance. A minimum passing grade of 90% is required for successful completion of the practical exercise. Upon completion of the compounding activities, when the candidate has removed all products from the hood for inspection, but before he or she has completed any cleaning or additional degowning, perform the tracer detection swabbing exercise presented on page 6 of the Chemotech package insert by thoroughly swabbing a 14 inch by 14 inch square section of the following areas for recovery of any red or pink residue. Area 1. The work surface of the BSC following proper disposal of chemo mat if used. Area 2. The outer surfaces of the products. The septa and injection port areas are the most commonly contaminated sites. Area 3. The candidate's gown sleeves and gloves, especially the fingertips. If proper procedure has been followed, the candidate should have properly removed and disposed of the outermost pair of gloves prior to removing hands from the hood, and the inner pair should be clean. Area 4. The entire front grill and lower threshold or lip of the BSC. Area 5. The floor in front of and under the hood. Area 6. The countertop or work surface where the product was placed upon removal from the hood. Area 7. The outside of the chemo waste container. To view the residue recovery results, lay the swabs against a pure white background, such as the Chemotech container base, to maximize color contrast. Any red or pink color detected in location 1 demonstrates inadequate, progressive, in-process sanitation of the BSC. This increases the risk of personnel exposure and the risk that subsequent product may be compromised. Color detected on swabs from locations 2 through 7 demonstrates that the candidate's technique has failed to contain the product within the BSC. Additional training and practice are indicated. No color recovery on any swab constitutes a negative test, or pass. Upon completion of the exercise, be certain the candidate's name, the date, and all other required information appears on the labels provided, and that the labels are securely attached to the appropriate containers. Incubate the bag, the bottle, the two diluted vials, and all six syringes in the manner described in Demonstration of Manipulated Product Sterility on page 3 of the Chemotech product insert. Using the practical skills evaluation, the tracer detection swabbing exercise, and the demonstration of manipulated product sterility sections of the package insert, evaluate the performance of the candidate and determine any required corrective actions. Complete all entries for the practical skills evaluation on the product insert and make the data entries to the candidate's ITDR. Training and validation of administration technique. Following the incubation period and confirmation of the sterility of the Valitech and Chemotech compounded products, the bags, bottles, and syringes of sterile medium may be used to challenge and validate the administrative technique and skills of nursing personnel. To accomplish this, 
The released sterile products should be delivered to the nurse with instructions to simulate the administration of the product to the patient. The nurse should then stage and simulate administration of the Chemotech product by staging, starting, and collecting the compound into an empty sterile bag, staged on a pure white pad or towel in the normal location of the patient's catheter or port. The preceptor should observe the exercise for proper administration and disposal technique, as well as any release of drug, by swabbing the ports and line in the same manner as the compounding test. The final bag should be labeled with the nurse's name and date of the test, and be incubated in the same manner as the original test materials.